Hello there, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. As spring has really started to warm up over here, and the earth is now blossoming with all the different possible shades and colors, this time is really inspiring me to get out into nature and create some beauty and magic, and to reconnect with the earth. It's also been inspiring me to start planting my own little garden, or balcony garden, and to connect with the soil, plant seedlings, and watch in awe as they blossom and grow. And, as I'm sure a lot of you are also probably getting into planting and gardening this time of year, I wanted to share with you a simple healing herbal recipe that I hope you will love as much as I do. Today, I'm going to be making a calendula and rose salve, and I will take you through the whole process of how to create this wonderful herbal remedy from scratch. Out of the many different herbal medicinal preparations, salves have to be one of my absolute favourite things to craft. They are very accessible and easy to make. Salves are extremely versatile and can be made using different herbs depending on the healing and perhaps maybe magical qualities you wish to bring out. And apart from that, they are extremely easy to make and I think they're a lot of fun too. In this case, both calendula and rose have medicinal and healing properties and are wonderful for soothing, calming and healing. They can aid with cuts, bruises, dry and irritated skin and are very popular ingredients in mainstream skincare products. And for those who may be interested, calendula and rose are also said to hold some magical properties like protection, wealth, strength healing and beauty, to name a few. But overall, they are both very nourishing and healing ingredients and are very good for the skin. So, for this recipe, you will need around 70 milliliters of your herbal infused oil, around 14 grams of soy wax or beeswax, I'm going to use soy wax, and you will also need a small jar and something optional which is a small scoop of coconut oil and also some essential oils which are also optional. I will be using a small jar which typically holds around 140 milliliters of liquid but you can use any small jar that you have. So let's start from the very beginning of how to make this salve. The very first thing you need to do is to set the herbal oil. I am going to do this the longer way, but I'll also explain to you the shorter way of how you can do this. To do what's called the long infusion, you first need to take your herbs, in this case calendula and rose, and add them to a jar. And generally, you should use dry herbs for this process unless you know that the specific qualities of a herb can be best extracted when the herb is in a fresh state. Fill your jar almost to the top, packing the herbs in tightly, and then simply pour some olive oil or any other carrier oil of your choice over the herbs, making sure to cover them completely, and then seal the jar. Let your jar sit in a cool, dark place for around four to six weeks for the infusion to happen. Personally, I really like to work with olive oil as I find it to be the most accessible and most affordable option and I find it's also very nice on the skin. This is what I personally always do, however, if you want the process done faster, you can simply put the oil and herbs in a pot and heat them on a very low heat for about 4-6 to six hours and after, remove from the heat and leave them to sit overnight. Then the infusion will be complete.
When your herbal oil is ready to use, take a jar and strain the oil through a net or cheesecloth. Now, take a pot and add some cold water. Then, take two separate heat-proof jars and in one of them pour in the herbal oil and in the other add your beeswax, or in my case, soy wax. Put both these jars into the pot of water and heat the pot on a medium heat to create a double boiler situation. So in here I have my calendula and rose oil, about half a cup, and in here I have my soy wax pellets which are going to melt down and then the oil is going to come to temperature and then we're going to mix them both together. And I like to do this in one pot, um, I just find it easier that way. Um, you can also of course just put the wax into the same container and mix it together um, and melt it, but I find it's, the process happens a lot faster when you just do them separately. And of course I am making sure to use um, special heat proof containers. So these jars are especially made to be used with heat, so I know that they'll be alright. And so my oil has now warmed up very nicely and my soy wax pellets have melted really well. So now it's time to mix them together and also add in the bit of coconut oil. After the wax is melted down, take the jars off the heat and combine the oil and wax together. And now, I also do add in a small scoop of the coconut oil, as I just find it makes the salve much smoother and silkier. However, this step is optional. You can also add a few drops of your favourite essential oil if you wish, to increase the scent of the salve. And now, all that's left to do is to pour the mixture into a heatproof container or tin and let it set. And so, after leaving my salve overnight, here it is, a lovely colour. This salve is truly wonderful for dry skin, and especially beneficial for people who, like me, may love to spend time gardening, and I find it really helps my hands a great deal. Crafting with nature in this way brings me so much joy and peace and helps me to feel ever more connected to the earth and all the magic she holds. And it reminds me of how much nature provides us with in order for us to live well. 
and how grateful I feel for this gift. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below or over on Instagram if you make this salve and if you like it. Let me know also how you like to connect with nature this time of year and what things or activities or crafts you like to do. I'd really love to know. I hope you have a wonderful day or night and I'll see you in the next video.